Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to another session of A Type I 2020 All Over. So the presentation is the topic of the presentation is digitized design for Nushu script, not a traditional Nushu. And we have three presenters for the presentation, and they're also here with us, and they will be taking your questions after this after the presentation. So just in case if you have any question, queries, any curiosity, or anything about the presentation you can write in the chat box especially if you have the question then you can see the question answer you know section the second one with the question mark mark so uh, you can also write down your question there and um, now let me introduce our three amazing speakers who will be presenting on the topic and they are dr chao liu and also we have another speaker uh, it's Iso Chan and also Kum Xin Chang. Let me talk about something bio, some bio about the speakers. Dr. Chao, based in Beijing, Dr. Chao is a communication designer from China. She graduated from Central Academy of Fine Arts, CAFA. Liu is currently at, working as an associate professor at CAFA and researcher studying the history of Chinese type design. She joined Type Together as a regional representative in 2016. As an A-Type I delegate, Liu contributed to various ways like curating typography exhibitions such as TDC and serving as a judge in type design. Additionally, she assists with proofreading the Latin type design series in Chinese supported by Kafa, Yur, and A Type by her recent work is not a traditional Nusu. So welcome, Dr. Chao Liu. Likewise, we also have another speaker, and it's Isho Chan. He was born in Changjing. Guangdong PCR, which is formerly known as Guangzhou Loan during the French Indo China period. Chan major, majored in Chinese dialectology and also linguistic at university and currently, currently work at the Culture and Art Publishing House in Beijing, China. Chan's focus is on the Unicode encoding work for different living and historical script using East, East Asia and South Asia and how to use the open type method to optimize information processing. Chang is an authorized expert in ideographic research group and also has participated in CZKV unified ideograph and different Shon music notation in South Asia. And we would like to introduce another speaker. It's Kusum Chiang, is a student in School of Artificial Intelligence and Automation at Huangzhou University of Science and Technology. In addition to his studies, Chiang brings his expertise and expertise and extensive knowledge to IRZ meetings. He's on inspecting and also repairing the CZK vector attribute to UCS, as well as reviewing and organizing materials in the encoding process of other domestic scripts. So we'd like to welcome all the three speakers. Now we'll be playing their video and while watching the video, if you have any question, queries, curious, or anything, then you can write in the chat box. So especially for the question answer, maybe you can use the uh, question answer box where we will just take the question answer so it will be easier for us. So after the presentation, we'll talk to the presenters. Hi, hello. Hi. Hello. hello. Uh, hello everyone, it seems that there's uh, no connection between three people here to finish a project for Jiang Yong New Shu scripts. Interestingly, we found that the Chinese pin of the project named uh, contains three of us. Jiang is Kuxin Jiang, who studied in Wuhan City. Yong is Aso Chen, based in Beijing, which uh, in is pronounced Yong in Chinese, and new names female, aim at me. We will share the creation of a noto traditional new shoe with all of you in the following, which our story is far more wonderful. This is writing video 
of He Yanxing I recorded on May twentieth, two thousand six. The custom of new show script has been、uh, listed in the first batch of Chinese、uh, national ICH. We will start our story from three aspects,、uh, res uh, respectively, linguistics, encoding, and design. The language first, and the script then. So let us start with the language recorded in Nü Shu.、Uh, in the south of China, there is a large bi-dialect area. People use Mandarin or Yue as the prevailing language, and another dialect is used among locals.、Uh, since the two dialects were shown in this language atlas thirty years ago,、uh, they have been eagerly paid attention to by the academic circles. And have been research hotspots.、Uh, re- currently, Pinghua and Tuhua are divided into four clusters:、uh, Southern Hunan, Northern Guangdong, Southern Guangxi, and Northern Guangxi.、Uh, in this area of the Southern Hunan cluster, Nü Shu is used to write the local Tuhua dialect.、Uh, the core area is in Jiangyong County, Yongzhou City, Hunan Province. Uh, Jiangyong County is covered by nature scenery, and there are rich mountain and river resources.、Uh, the industrial Jiangyong people create rich products through their agricultural work.、Uh, there are a group of women who record and exchange their thoughts and feelings by neutral script and the local Tuhua dialect. Among them, the literate and the free living women are honored as Junzi Nu, which means gentlemanly women. Uh, there have been many legends about the creation of Nü Shu, among which Hu Yuxiu's is the most recognized.、Uh, Hu Yuxiu, known as the imperial concubine of the Northern Song Dynasty,、uh, created Nü Shu to communicate with the sisters in the countryside to relieve the loneliness in the palace. However, scholars generally believe that it was impossible for a person to create. A complete script, single-handedly, in a place far away from home. Zhou Shuoyi wrote one of the first batch of introductory texts, and Gong Zhebing wrote the first research paper. Since then, Nü Shu has become a research hotspot in several disciplines.、Uh, this is story about the third day of wedding, collected by Hunan Provincial Museum. Uh, Professor Gong Zhebing collected a large number of first-hand materials of Nüshu script written by the inheritors of original ecology. Some of which are collected in the special collection room for of of Nüshu works, which donated by Professor Gong Zhebing in Wuhan University Library.、Uh, most of Nüshu texts are written on paper and fans, and these works are called reed paper and reed fan. A few pieces appear on handkerchiefs and flower bands. In fact, the typesetting characteristics of Nü Shu are the same as Hanzi. The ancient text is basically vertical, while the contemporary is based on horizontal arrangement.、Uh, furthermore, the Nü Shu characters also behave more like Hanzi than other syllabic scripts such as Kana. The many-to-one and one-to-many relationships are common phenomena, along with the cases of Gunyomi. Since Nü Shu did not undergo any standardization campaigns, variants arose naturally. A small number of these variants have semantic nuance, but there are also counterexamples. He Yanxing, the inheritor of Nü Shu, told us that there are two ways to write the character flower. When she was a child, she can't understand the subtle difference. Once, the mother saw that she wrote four dots like flower, and couldn't help crying. But her mother was reluctant to explain why. Shortly afterwards, her grandmother told her that the five dots like flower was used to express pleasure, which was five golden flowers.
meant several close sisters, and the four dots like flower is used in sad words. Common characters contain the following seven strokes: the absence of stray strokes distinguishing Nu Shu from Han Zi. In addition, according to Endolius and our research,、uh, different writers use different stroke order system. Two types of punctuation are prevalent in Nu Shu works. One of these is line filler, which is like a hyphen. They are used to fill in the white space in the end of a line. This punctuation has not been encoded in Unicode yet. The other is the iteration mark. They are often used in place of the previous character. Let me talk about Nu Shu encoding process. Chinese experts submitted the first proposal to encode Nu Su script to the relevant working group of ISO in August 2007, and then USA, UK, and Japanese experts provided their comments for proposal improvements on letter forms, character names, letter transliteration methods, and rap tool. The Nu Shu ad hoc group, composed of experts from various countries, began to work normally from 2012. The encoding scheme was accepted finally in October 2015 in Matsue, Japan. They are the experts who made great contributions to the Nu Shu encoding in this photo. The current standard letter forms on the Unicode code charts are referenced from Nu Shu Dubun mainly, and the experts made the character unifications, which were compared with other materials. For example, the same character is written differently, slightly in different materials, but we can still identify them as the same character. We will get the current code chart after using stroke counts and pronunciations for ordering. However, it doesn't mean the end of the encoding work. Some Nu Shu inheritors from Jiang Yong County once told us that some Nu Shu characters had been confused unintentionally in the process of scholars' research. And Unicode inherits these errors. For example, the left one is mang, which means dream. The right one is ma, which means beauty. They are different clearly, but they were treated as the same by the scholars. The inheritors hope Unicode could clarify them in future, so as to digitize the Roco Nishu test better. After encoding, let me show how I design new shoe type. Our task is to design the traditional new shoe typeface. So the first question we are facing is what the tradition of new shoe typeface is. From the habitual thinking of Han's calligraphy, we may think of new shoe scripts is written by brush commonly. Indeed, in the birthplace of today's new shoe, and in the nationwide new shoe exchange activities, calligraphy style is the mainstream form, which gives us a great illusion. This is work of Yi Mianhua. It's clear that new shoe script is monoliner, because it is written by a wooden stick. Fountain pen or ball pen. Most of parts in writing at the terminals in strokes are non-existent in Nu Shu script. This is Hu Xin's work. Hu was appraised as the image ambassador of Jiang Yu Nu Shu script. This is Wang Chengxi's work. Hu was the pioneer of Henan fashion. From a large number of materials, we can see that the stroke of the traditional, the Nu Shu scripts are inclined 
and isometric. The inheritance of Lu Xu's grip is a kind of oral transmission, so that the glyph shapes and the writing styles are inconsistent. We decided not to trust any material and rely on evidence to determine the fonts. Therefore, we carry out a comparative study of several documents, including Unicode code chart glyphs, before our design work. Matching in the beginning of the design, we start from the aspects of the characteristic of the glyph shapes and the glyph proportion of noto CGK as C and noto lighting, and the baseline setting of Hanzi lighting letters and neutral characters. The arts of noto traditional neutral are referenced to other noto typefaces, especially dots and circles, which are consistent with the style of noto lighting. The dot stroke of the new show characters are not uh, directional, which is quite different from Noto CGK SC. New show script has a large aspect ritual, so the glyph uh, shape is beyond the glyph box, which is not only its uh, characteristic, but also its technical difficulty. This is a baseline setting of the new show. Characters. This is a matching design text. The tilt of the new shoe characters are very visible, but it doesn't feel like the leaning tower of Pisa. It's the inclined diamond structure that doesn't fall down, so that I call it a Chinese italic style juggling. Most of the strokes of the new shoe characters are left word slash and right word slash, but the axis of the shape structure is a perpendicular. Through the control angle to enhance the consistency, angles of left word slash are grouped, and angles of right word slash are flexible. In August 2020, as soon as the COVID-19 COVID is done in China, our team rushed to Hunan to investigate version 2 of this typeface and the future encoding works for Unicode. The left-right structures of many neutral characters are rotated and overlapped excessively to form up-down structures and semi-up-down structures, which uh, strictly control the width of the characters. In order to control the width, the inclined rows is broken for some characters, and a few characters are very individual. The secondary component will also rotate for the overall structure, while the main component rotates. Therefore, the angle of the secondary components are not consistent for the neutral script. There are many uh, unique strokes uh, shapes in the neutral scripts. It's a very challenging and interesting thing how to get the balance between correct glyph shapes, consistency, and personality. How rich and diverse structures and the strokes are, which makes the originally simple uh, spacing as so complicated as Latin letters, that we use the spacing design math of Latin typeface to design the spacing of the new shoe typeface creatively. This is inseparable from my view of two books, shipping text and how to create typefaces. The ling uh, linguistics an encoding expert in our team constantly discover new glyph issues during the project. The most recent one was found a few days ago. This set of fonts uh, is also a family which covers three weights, so it can match all kinds of modern application of neutral scripts. 
This is horizontal and vertical layouts. This is a collection of photos from an investigation in Hunan. Let's end our speech with uh, He Yanxin's singing. I hope you like our design. In the future, we will also explore the possibility of new show variable fonts. Thank you. Okay, that was a movie work done by three people. Thank you so much. It was an amazing presentation. It was very insightful. And actually, I was relating it to how we have been working in Nepal, too. So we can actually, you know, um, relate how hard it is to actually work in the indigenous, indigenous and also traditional scripts. So hats off. Hats off to three of you. So let's see if there is any question in the chat box. I guess I haven't received any question yet, but it's really amazing. If they don't have question, I surely have some questions. <laughs> the last part, uh, what does that actually mean? Last song, the song that oh, yeah. Omen, yeah. Uh, last song. <laughs> uh, uh, she told us that uh, in the wedding, uh, people will have a party, and the, the song is. Uh, like seems to uh, introduce uh, the people and the seat, the crossbone, the crossbone. Uh, 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 it's the song about that. Thank you. That was beautiful closing of the presentation. Okay, we have a question, and it's: uh, Do you plan to design a serif or calligraphic? scroll down okay let me scroll down okay do you have a plan to design serif or calligraphic version to match the normal latin roman style or chinese song so do you have any plan yeah that's a question because the traditional yushu they have no serif uh, they use the model line there always so if uh if Google need, <laughs> maybe we can try. <laughs> but we change the tools of writing, I think, first. So maybe we will uh, teach from the yes, the the people uh, in Jiangyong. Yeah. First, we we do the research at the very beginning again. Thank you, and there is also thank you for the presentation. Is it a collection of word? I don't know what that word is. More towards the matriarchy, female domination society. How many words are there in prison with Hanzi? Oh, maybe Oh, you heard that? That's Nusu. Then I compare. Oh, Okay, the word is enough, so thank you, thank you. Okay, can I repeat the question again? 
Yeah. Yeah, small. Um, okay. It's not clear. So, Suen Litan actually say thank you for the presentation. Is the collection of words in Nushu more towards matriarchy, female dominant society? And how many words are there in Nushu in comparison with Hanzi? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the first question is the collection of words more towards matriarchy. Uh, in, I think no. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, there is no clear uh, differences between Yujua or Enhanz. They're just the, the, uh, the difference between the, uh, the men or the women use that. Uh, they, they use the different script to write the same story or uh, to put the same feeling. I, I, I don't think the, the words uh, uh, itself can represent some uh, female uh, uh, characteristics. Uh, the other, how many words are there in Yushu in comparison? Uh, words, are, uh, if you mean the characters, uh, if you mean the characters of the, their script, uh, um, Marek uh, has shown that uh, the uh, characters of Hanzi is um, uh, now in Unicode, they're uh, around 90, 90,000. Uh, uh, and uh, however, in uh, New Shu, I think uh, in the uh, biggest collection of new shoe, there are around 4,000, uh, which include many variations. And if you uh, 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 if you combine them, uh, you will get uh, around 1,000. Uh, so uh, because that uh, new shoe, uh is uh, a more uh, Slavic, uh they they uh uh so i think they they are uh less characters than Hanzi. okay thank you thank you for that question and it's already okay. answered the person, people can read it and You're understand nice. the answer so next by mariko Taga, uh, takagi thank you for the interesting presentation the traditional writing direction was vertical it seems that it is also reflected in the shape of the characters changing to the vertical lines did did the shape of the characters changed it's in the question section ah uh. Uh, so changing to the vertical lines, did the shape of the characters changed? So mm -hmm. when you you know change it to the no, vertical no lines, the shape of the letters no change. No, no, no change. Uh, but some some script like uh, Mongolia, the vertical as the uh, the grief in the vertical layouts and the horizontal layouts are different, but. Uh, uh, for Nishu script, uh, this part is like Hanzi, the Chinese ideograph. Uh, the grip shape uh, in the horizontal layout is the same as the uh, vertical layout. There is no change. Mm -hmm. I agree that. I agree. Uh, the, the Chinese the Chinese characters cannot lie down, so Nishu can, cannot lie down either. <laughs> okay, the next question by Mariko, the second question, is Nusu a sellable best script or script from vertical to horizontal? Huh? Is it sellable best script uh, that, that's or a, a script? That, That's an interesting question. And, uh, uh, the the scholars have discussed in this topic for a long time. Uh, uh, we can find out that they have the both character the characteristic of the both uh, classified. Um, 
and <laughs> uh, I think I cannot give a, a clear answer to this. Uh, for the point of my view, I think it's uh, uh, more like Hanzi uh, than Kana. So, uh, <laughs> what 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 do you think, Kaiso? <laughs> Uh, uh, some scholars in China or Japan, uh, the they think the the the, the Nushu script line is the Arabic, but we can find out so many different like the uh, typical Arabic script. So um, this is a very very difficult question for us and more scorers now. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we also have another question that was by Xuan Li Tan. Okay, thank you for your answer. Just wondering, is there not to exist? In Jiang Yong, uh, the male people uh, learn and write the uh, script is Hanzi. So they call the Hanzi, the Chinese, the typical Chinese is Nan Shu, well, the main male. script. Male uh, script. But uh, mm -hmm. Shu is the, the different from the main, the, the main, the, the, the main male script. So uh, the scholar call it as Nu Shu female script mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the scholars have recorded on the books uh, there are a clear evidence that uh, they uh, cra they indeed uh, uh, call the Hanzi uh, Nan Shu mm -hmm. yeah I think this this situation is like uh, Kana and Junam Kana in Japan and Junam in Vietnam uh, I remember in the ancient Vietnam, mm, the man mm, write, uh, learn and write the uh, uh, typical ideograph, Chinese ideograph, as the uh, Wen Yiwen, uh, but the female people and some, mm, uh, they, they write and learn to use the Junam. Mm. The situation is uh, similar to Jiang Yong. Okay, thank you for the answer. And William Liu also said, it seems like the so-called dancer is Hanzi. <laughs> yeah. <Correct. laughs> like in Japan, Hiragana versus Kanji. <laughs> ah, Hiragana. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so and Marek also said, um, I think men were sent to school, so they learn Hanzi, but I'm from Poland, not the Nansu, a Nushu specialist. So, any concern or some query? <laughs> okay, so if you still have some more questions, we have a few minutes left. Uh, uh, before we wrap up the session. Uh, maybe if you still have um, anything, any question, then you can write on, on the chat section or in the question answer section. And until then, maybe uh, do you have anything to say, the presenters, if you have anything to say this, um, in addition to the presentation that you have given, you still have a few minutes. Done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Seems so like we don't have any more questions. So just in case, if you have any questions, and uh, you know any question pop up in your head uh, after the session, join on, join to hangout room. Or if Hey, shout out to the entire team.
Thank you. Thank you, our presenters. Nah. Thank you so much for that beautiful presentation. That was really amazing, inspiring for all of us, I guess. So thank you. And uh, with this, we wrap up this session. Thank you all our sponsors for sponsoring a type I event conference as a whole. Namaste. We'll see you again. Maybe we can join to hangout room. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.